And he asked um, the guy, he asked in the news station, "Do I look 20 times more? Do I look 20? Do I look like I gained 20 more pounds? Because the camera adds 20 more pounds." <laughs> and then he said, "And then he said, because when he said that, this guy answered and fell for a trap. Like it, it was like a serious frame trap. And the lady was right there just listening. And then he said." Oh, because it has 20 pounds to the camera. The lady's like, don't, don't say that. <laughs> the look on his face was like, you bug eye. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he apologized. Right, be like, um, he didn't realize. It's like, it's like, yo. He's like, oh, don't say that. <laughs> right, be like, um, don't say that. Just, just don't say that. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you already um, said it. <laughs> so shady. It's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I need a Red Bull. Yeah. Where's the Red Bull? Yeah. Stick with my power rate. No, I need a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Who, who can get it me is, a Red Bull? Uh, it has been a long day, man. It has. It has been a very long day. What time is it? Am I? Uh, it is now 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yeah, man. Weez, the, the block party's going on right now. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I guess like bar or club etiquette, you know, you never show up when it opens. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to go have a little drinks here and there, play some casuals. I doubt Kale will be there, but... We can get some run back, some money. I mean, back. honestly, like if somebody's willing to bring a setup. Oh, know? we we got two setups with us. If yeah, we, I'm about to say like somebody could very easily just we just carry need a setup a, we got two setups. We just need a uh, gaming monitor for one. We yeah. I brought mine for all the okay. way from Vegas. Chronicle, he lives okay. in Fresno, so we got his. Oh, cool, cool. Wait. Oh, this is losers, I assume. Uh, I guess so. Oh my God, are these two playing? They're playing. Uh, so they're playing right now? Hey, buddy. Hey, they're playing right now. Hey. They're, they're pl playing right they, now. They're playing right now. Oh, my God. Is, are we alive? Are, are we alive? Are fixing the situation? Are Is you the stream? So we're live? Because we can't see anything. <laughs> Some technical difficulties, folks. I really hope I didn't say anything bad while I was talking right there. I was well, just telling a story. Yeah. The worst, well. the worst I could say is, you know, fudge. <laughs> um, like, so uh, I <laughs> guess you guys are. All right, so we got. This, okay, these so are, these, these, these two are brothers. Really? They're going head to head. They know each other's. Oh, brothers. this is so. Hey, this is uh, another time at a. Uh, this is just a fun time at home for them, I guess. They're going to town. Yeah. I can hear the sound effects. So someone shadow counter. My shadow counters. Right. Okay, there we go. All right, oh, so uh, now Runner's somebody... just playing Orchid. It looks like he's he's gonna try and download the matchup to get the run back in LCD. He's gonna. Whoa! I've never seen that combo trade. Yeah, that very is a nice. very nice juggle. Oh. I like that. I like how everyone is changing it up. Everyone, juggles, you know, right? yeah, Season everybody's all about juggles now. Oh yeah, definitely. All about juggles. Flip outs. And people juggles. are people are definitely finding their ways to uh, get their damage. When and, season uh, get two their was just, the only juggle in season two was just recaptures. Yeah. Recaptures and then gimmicks. Yeah. Season much. three is now just about juggles and. Uh, Oh, nice Ooh. shadow counter. Oh my god, these two are very close. Oh, goes for the break. He knows his intentions. He's know what he's going for. Deep hair. Oh, no, no, Deep hair. Oh, run exit. Only a true master. He's got, look at this. He's yeah. got full pips. Oh, All this right, is unblockable. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Lord that Almighty. was so crazy. Oh, gets hit by the fire cat. Shadow and counter. Another shadow no, counter, but no, gets hit by the shadow cat. All right, nice blocks. Oh, dashes through. He's got a, oh my god. Nice movement. Oh! But Pharaoh oh my God, catches him close. anyway. Look, he's looking for an answer. He's looking around. He's like, where's my coach? I need my coach. Your coach is playing you. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Your coach is right there. Oh, my goodness. That is insane. My that head is, still, my head is, is still wobbled with LCD and, 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 and Runix. My head is... These oh. pools are stressful. I know. These pools are very stressful. Imagine. It, it's, it, and, and that's. I guess that's just kind of the, the, the spirit of... Of, of killer instinct tournaments you know really? it's 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 a really dangerous is. experience every time you go regardless of how many people show you're guaranteed you're, you're guaranteed to, to have a, a very strong a very strong element of competitiveness uh in these tournaments just because you never know who is actually uh you know who's working on what you never know what experience a person has and how far they've come along you know you, you have so many sleepers in the ki community in a ki competitive community that yes. it's a rather surprise it's a it's a rather you know exciting uh sight to see you know players like this uh come up because i've never heard of 925 arrow well, I, I'm, are, I'm, I'm gonna have well, to be honest well, i didn't even know they were brothers it's a good thing i'm here because i know how the majority of the community oh yeah is so far. now run x up there yeah i've heard of run x but yeah pharaoh not too sure of now run x is going mm -hmm. with full gore mm -hmm. for this mm -hmm. matchup 
Pharaoh's just showing his little brother who's the big bro here. He's yeah. It's a very nice, uh, very nice display of Maya here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Pink Diamond is watching from afar. Very pleased. Shout out to Pink Diamond. Just wish the girl came through. I'm pretty sure she would take it. Everybody. And a fully charged blade dash. Just do it, you know. Yeah. This is Mountain Oh, Duke. misses the overhead. Misses the dunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So DP. Uh, DP. Yes. DP. Of course. All right. Oh no, he a tried to DP, of, uh, but he wasn't close. <laughs> now I feel like Runex uses Fulgore to do research. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure, I mean, obviously he'll take the win if it's there, but I feel like he uses Fulgore to download his opponent, to, to get a sense of their tendencies and to, and to get a better feel of options that he may or may not have. Because in the last match with LCD, he played Fulgore for one match, and then he went back to Omen for the last match. Oh, now he played Orchid weird. the first match, so this is a bit of a different pace, and he gets a teleport, uh, his teleport blade dash. Good grab on that. Now what's the setup? What's the next roll? He ca caught the dagger. Both of them waiting for who's going to make the next hit. Medium. Light. Breaks the light on impact. I'm seeing a lot of good breaks oh, here. And great he shadow, shadow counters counter. Very dunk. successful. No dunks today. Mm -mm, no, sir. No, no my no. goodness. The ambiguous juggles. He goes for the so shadow. ambiguous. He cashes it out. 59%. My God, this man. Oh, nice punish on the lasers. Oh. The lasers are oh. no longer plus now. They are now negative one. So Blows you out. do have the ability mm. to poke as Pharaoh Runex. takes the next game. Runex is, get, is running out of options right now. Pharaoh, he's just looking at him. He's just, man, don't you guys just see this. Honestly, I feel like this is a mental thing. Would you mind if you uh, plug over there on, the, on those ports? Right I feel like... Uh, now, I feel that Runex is dealing with a very mental stress uh, right on him on himself right now mm -hmm. so runex is definitely going to have to figure out he's going to have to collect himself here because no, um, he where the actually okay. hang on, where the uh white is okay yeah just grab the cable just plug it in sorry about that bro uh dang i feel bad he got, got cut off i'm sorry i just i can't go help I think it's a habit for everybody. I'm sorry for sidetracking people. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep it professional. Very nice play from Pharaoh. Wait a minute, what's going on? Is that 2-0? That is 2-0. It's, it's supposed to be 3. Yeah, it's 3 out of 5. They were not supposed to be playing. I'm done. So... We are dealing with more technical difficulties as we are now looking to uh, resolve the bracket situation. So, April Fools. Um, <laughs> where's uh, uh? Just kidding. Where's Steve Martin? Oh no, not Steve. Steve Harvey. Uh, who was the guy that made that announcement in the beauty pageant? Uh, Steve Harvey, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? I'm pretty uh, sure he's running this event too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pretty sure his bald self is hanging around somewhere. But, um, yeah, this is a very strange ordeal. We do apologize, folks. We, we do. This is why we need to have a tablet right here. That would be so convenient to have a tablet for to watch the bracket. Because let the let the moderators and the, the one that's holding down the stream do their thing. Right. We just have to announce these players. Yeah. We, and we have to correct them, too. Yeah, exactly. So, Runex lives... To Looks fight another day. Yeah, he doesn't have to kill his brother off. But just well, he doesn't have to die by his brother. The big brother. <laughs> this is no Cain and Abel stuff right now. Yeah, he doesn't have to uh, die by big brother. So mm -hmm. no death by big brother. Um, we are in the process of figuring out the next match to put up on stream. We're just trying to uh, get the bracket situated here so that way we can uh, get everything running smoothly. But so far, just to give you a brief update of the current state of things. So you have on the winner side, you have Nikki in top eight and on yeah, the so loser Thompson. side you have, on a, oh yeah this, i'm sorry about that you also have thompson in losers um, on the loser side you have gnarly Death feet and devil make care and devil make care my teammate beautiful BXA boys honest yeah. i'm glad to see devil step up the game and make yeah. it out there definitely shout out to you guys broken it ba broken alliance yeah um, you guys are doing flawless with these you guys have got a great roster yeah um, honestly uh i'm glad that he's my teammate you know he he, he definitely he, he, he pushes he pushes himself very hard you know he pushes himself to to get better every single day 
and, and he does the same for for people that he, you know they exactly plays the man comes through with the clutch he is the clutch of your team yeah, absolutely definitely uh we have you know, uh, three members. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Frank, the human. <laughs> hey, Frank. What's up, Frankie? How you doing, man? Hey, Frankie. We miss you, buddy. We wish you were here. Uh, that's our lab monster. I heard he has the best looking nostrils. Is that true? <laughs> what would you say about that? Um, According I... to Dave Lang, as much as drama went down at Combo Breaker. I don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> um <laughs> I did not. I was not aware that this was a topic of discussion. Oh no, I, no, no! I was like, "What do you think?" It's just a. It's just a. Mm, I'm just messing with you, dude. You don't gotta answer. Um, if you really want to answer, by all means, you're on the spotlight, dude. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You don't gotta answer. I mean, they're not bad. <laughs> he answered. They're uh, they're fine. I'm, I'm messing with you. Bro. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, uh, shout but out to those I guys. I have seen. I have heard a lot of good things about him as a rash. But the funny thing is, there are some undercover rash players that you don't see out there you know yeah. mellow's one of them yeah danny camacho's one of them yeah who else i mean i'm a notable rash player well um <laughs> i don't know it's, it's it's just kind of hard because in the in the spirit of uh season three with all the new characters coming out you know you have a lot of people bouncing around and oh, trying yeah. out different things yeah. So you know, yeah, we got a lot of full wars. I, I could see that. I could say, yeah, I could totally exactly. agree with you. A lot of people and are bouncing around with characters. Too. Yeah, and it's and it's kind of strange because full gore gets slightly adjusted, slightly nerfed with each patch. You know, they he's like they, practically they, untouched. He's practically untouched, but he's yeah. Still he they, they're, they're still there's still a lot of things that he maintains, but it's just, it just seems like they're you know kind of like tweaking some things, seeing how it goes, and you know just trying to carefully go about this character because I feel. You know, a lot of people have problems with Fogor, but I feel like Fogor is one of those characters where changing them is a bit of a minefield. You know, it's it's one of those kind of things that if you take away the wrong thing, if you change the wrong thing, you end up ruining the character. You know? Yeah, you know what? That That is true. It just takes the fun out the character, but you yeah. know what? If you are down to earth, character lines from through and through, of course you're going to get that much respect. If, the, if you think the character's bad, that's on you. This dude's still playing the character. Don't bring him down with you just because you can't be good with the character. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it, it's, uh, it's funny because um, at Combo Breaker, there's a comment that uh, Keats made that actually is always resonant, that resonated with me since he said it. He, all, he stated that character specialists are the ones that, la that make it, that, that la outlast Great words everyone else. By, actually. Yeah, uh, because for the simple fact of the matter is that they... They take the time, one, to truly figure out the character. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of the meta and overall uh, game, uh, they are learning how to function within the game. They're not really, they're not really playing matchups. They're playing the game. They're understanding how mechanics work. And then the character that they use, they, they understand how their character fits in those mechanics. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a person like Nikki, who's been playing Fogor for two years, yeah. you know, Clearly, as you can see, he he is now able to function and truly and fully utilize all the tools that Fogor has, and just also learn how to play the game in general. You know, so. I never once slept on Fogor, and going back to season one, 2014, my first top 16 at Evo. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so proud of that. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll be there soon. Oh man. I'll be there soon. No, you're up there. I, I personally believe you're up there. Every, every top eight that I've seen, was it Summer Jam? Yes. Oh, yeah. When I saw you, dude, I've never seen you before. I've heard <laughs> a name like that sounds familiar. And you know what? Just like tonight, you didn't know these players. Right. And now you're seeing the potential they got. Yeah, and that's that's the beautiful thing about KI is that anybody Character can diversity good. is number one with this game. Yes. You do not see a mirror matches. Actually, you don't see mirror matches in any fighting game unless, you know, they can get up there. There's a lot of character diversity. There's a lot of players that play unique with the character. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's so many different play styles, mm -hmm. so many different... You could either you be know. all around, or you could either be just, you know, just playing completely different. Like, people thought Rash, honestly, how I play Rash is just Wicked Tongue all day. It's play. I'm playing the character like Marvel. Oh, okay, I see. So I think I am supposed to play. Ooh, wait a minute. Are you playing Sleep or what? Are you playing sleep? All right, my man. Let's do this. Good luck, dude. <laughs> Who am I getting on the commentary? Oh wait, you're playing him? 
or you want to commentate? You know, we supposed to be playing tempo. He said he told you we still got to fight like 30 minutes ago. I have no idea who that is. Not mine. None of this is mine. Not mine. <laughs> it's not running. It, everything's running. It, there's so many difficulties going on. So many difficulties. Okay, so. Okay, my so I'm not. I can't do this. I just, I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm commentating without glasses. We're gonna. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what to do. Yeah, you know what? Matches. Matches are being shifted around mid tournament, <laughs> and uh, we're just kind of uh, going with the flow, I guess. So, I'm no, hearing um, the gameplay. I yeah, really so hope I guess nobody's that, playing their match. I'm not sure if there's a match or button check. It's Lightbuster. So, and if hey. we can get the match all in stream, okay. So we have full board mirror match, and I think we just kind of jinxed ourselves because yeah. we were just talking about how diverse yeah, the tournament has been, and no mirror matches. And lo and behold, we Hang have on. a mirror match. Correction: There's character diversity in top eight the pools. Yes. You're obviously gonna run into a mirror. Um, I don't know because um, I've been watching pools today, and I've been actually seeing a lot of diversity in there just in general. So we have Pharaoh versus Lightbuster. Now I watched Lightbuster play against Hot Lava earlier today. I mean not Hot Lava, but um, <laughs> <laughs> he said Hot Lava. I'm sorry. Um, Swordsman, sorry. It's okay. Sorry, it's okay. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so many flukes. So I I saw Lightbuster play against uh, Swordsman earlier today, and it was actually very solid. He actually took Swordsman, Swordsman to the limit. Ooh, wait, you know he what? took him Swordsman to each, still he took him to the limit. Two. <laughs> he is not well rounded with season three yet. No yeah. shadow counter on Lightbuster. All right, now Lightbuster's Fulgore, from what I've seen, is actually very solid. It's very patient. I will tell you that it's a very patient, very um, hey. conservative. I, I wouldn't say it's conservative, but yeah, very, well, I guess conservative in terms of Fulgore play, but a uh, very conservative Fulgore. He doesn't really go oh. in. Go for the shadow counter, yo. Lightbuster's putting in work. He's showing Pharaoh that I play the best Fulgore. Nikki gave me three tips of advice, and it's working. Right. <laughs> okay. He's All right. He's fighting Lightbuster going for the deep pain. Yeah. Gets Ooh, try to dunk on him and doesn't get it. Gets another Ooh, shadow good counter. Shadow. Very good use of meter here. Gets the wall splat, but does not convert. When hey, he converts. Hey, hey. And goes with the All overhead. Right. Dunks on him. Convert. Doesn't continue the combo. Oh, there's two teleport! Oh, oh no, and the teleport it messed canceled him up. out. Because he teleported behind and teleported in front of him. He did the correct input, but the thing is, his Oh my god. But there are shadow counters. It was very galore. close. Very close. Now he's full ultra. The disrespect is real. Put some respect on my frames, you know? Yeah, exactly. Will you get it? Yeah, there you go. You I can't, say you can't no drop more, the you can't drop the full ultra. Because you know if you drop the full ultra, you lose the set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is the unwritten, unspoken rule of Killer Instinct. If you decide, if you decide to take that risk in full ultra, you drop any part of that ultra, you lose. Just, just so you know. So, fortunately, if you like Buster, he finishes it. So, still going strong. <laughs> Don't take me seriously, folks. All right, so uh, nice four fierce here, but gets punished on a counter hit. The most difficult thing about what's going on right now. All right, nice grab. Put him in the corner. Now, Pharaoh here is uh, trying to get some offense started here, but Lightbuster, oh, being very familiar with the character, is not really letting Pharaoh get much. Of course, he and he's not taking character. baits either. He's not taking the bait at Pharaoh all. Is, oh, Pharaoh's now getting it. He's got white light. He can catch it out. He goes for the reset. He's not going for. He goes for the break. He saves himself. From what all right, get the DP? freeze frame. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh no! But he doesn't get the jump in. DP? No DP. DP! Oh, he tried it! DP. And he misses again! Oh, DP. The sweep combo. The sweep juggle. The sweep juggle. Let that let that marinate. The sweep juggle. <laughs> Alright. Now that's light, that's Lightbuster's go-to go move when in there to make his DP safe, but I don't actually think it's safe. It actually is not. Um, the, I, the change that they recently made to it is that he can no longer <sighs> do it pretty much uh, really close to the ground anymore. Just like earlier when he was fighting LCD. 
He was making the same adjustment. He was making the same where he's trying to go for the same breaks on the same life bar. He has not changed or learned anything from what he's done before. But at least he's putting on work and effort and trying to keep exposure. It's still 1-0. So even if he loses this, he still has three more games to go. Yeah, definitely. Now, Pharaoh definitely has a sizable life lead. Uh, going for the grab to get the kill. Only a true master right now, but oh, I'm cool. having. But I'm gonna put my faith on my booster. Oh! Hype beam! Hype beam! Hype beam! The cheese. Oh my goodness! Hype beam is viable. <laughs> Hype beam is viable. <laughs> <laughs> could a shadow, sh could a shadow blade dash his way? I'm actually really glad to see that because oh, uh, yeah. it shows that he's actually using all of his tools. He's not just doing things. He's actually taking a chance to. He's taking a chance to a good uh, use see what's going on. It's a good use to and end making the those adjustments. Way, huh? There's only one way you gotta end it. Hype beam. All right. Now he's using a Ooh, lot of jump in the DP. Okay. The sweep uppercut juggle. Oh, tried to continue the combo. Now no shadow oh, counter on the tech. four heavy. That's a good tech on the throw. DP. Wake up DP. Mm -hmm. What's the setup? Oh shadow. Just teleport oh, shenanigans all over the place. Lightbuster is getting flustered. I am not a, a lot of I am not a rapper. Breaks. I'm just an adapter. So that was perfect. What I right, just right. Said. Goes for the medium break. There are medium breaks everywhere. I have seen literally three medium breaks. Medium is his favorite punch. Yeah. I don't blame him. That's my medium, favorite. Too. Medium is your best friend. <laughs> All right. Goes for now, uh, Lightbuster here is trying to get something started here, but it's having some trouble. Pick up the momentum, making that reaction move a little quicker. Pharaoh is doing a very nice job here. Maintaining oh, pressure, go. but doesn't get the shadow off counter. By a split second to get that shadow counter. Oh, nice jump fierce. DP. Good punish on the DP. Okay, gets light burst. It gets grabbed. Ooh. Gets grabbed again. Goes for another reset. He's getting, he's trying, Pharaoh's trying to go for another disrespectful move. He's, gonna, he's going, he's going to be disrespectful. He might do another high beam. No. Now light buster needs okay, to get Okay, now he's got a full stick of butter. Lightbuster right. needs to get that first health bar. He, he needs, needs, he needs that little bar. He needs one more bar. There we okay, go. So light buster gets the health bar. Okay, so there's no, there's not gonna be a hype beam unless he doesn't use any Ooh, shadow. Oh, I like that. That oh. was nice. See, like we were just saying. All right, full damage. Like we were just talking about. He likes to go for mediums, but this time he thought he was gonna go for light or a heavy. Gets medium opened up break. by light laser, by medium oh. laser. Oh, gets away. Oh, saves himself <gasps> again. Oh, like I said, he, he goes it. for the chance every time. This man goes for the chance every time. He should not go for it all the time. Like just finish the combo. If it hasn't worked the first few times change that just up. My, you might as well just take it. You change might as well just take up. it, let them break it, be done with it. Now, one thing that he could do is if he's going to break, if he is going to go for counter breakers, you have to change, like you said, you have to change up your strings. You have to change up the manuals. You have to change up the auto doubles because clearly he's breaking medium. So if you know he's expecting medium, you have to go for something else. And currently Lightbuster is not doing that. So. Right, Lightbuster now. now picking up the pace. He's understanding his mistakes. Uh uh. Three, three. Drops the combo, goes for a grab reset. Oh, Ooh. good punish on the teleport. Very nice. A lot of teleport goes action going grab. on here. Grabs him. Lightbuster is now picking up the slack. He's understanding, and he goes for the shadow. No counter hits. Oh, Lightbuster no, gets he the doesn't get the, uh, hey, hey. the auto double. Teleport fakes the chicken. Kept it new. He kept it safe. He kept it still. He didn't jump. He didn't go for anything crazy. He just waited for him to see where he was gonna land. These are certainly the most mobile Fogor. This is the most mobile Fogor play I've seen in a while. Uh, Nikki, when he plays Fogor, doesn't really do a lot of jumping. He usually stays Fogor. on the ground. Nikki's Fogor is all neutral. It's all neutral, baby. Yeah, that's the, there's that's a lot the of jumping of here. And and the, oh, great shadow counter from yeah. Pharaoh. Instantly goes right. for DP, misses, this goes for the punish. a lot of jumping. Oh, now, this time, oh, he he didn't want to finish the combo, but he also didn't want didn't want to go for breaks. So at least he's not going for breaks. I would rather I would rather blow out the combo than go for the you know go for the counter. I mean, with him having the life lead, oh my gosh. Oh, and he gets open. Pharaoh's got a full stick of butter. He's, he didn't go for the height beam, breaks it. Oh, tries to catch him with the jumping. Ooh, gets oh, gets caught with another man. DP. Lightbuster has got to stay on the ground. He is getting caught. Oh, what, what just, just happened? happened?
The, like, what the was laser, that? The laser neutralized his, his plasma blade, oh, giving the punish. Okay, and he catches him oh, using, no. and using the heavy laser. Out of the tournament. Okay. And he's very upset. All right, so we have Pharaoh taking the match against Lightbuster. Good games to Lightbuster. And I'm up next. Oh, baby. You know what? We're going to get gnarly on commentary. What's going on, gnarly? All right, good luck out there, Jackal. Show them what. Show them how Gargus is supposed to be played. And we will and I will put in a good word for you. Let's do this. Shoutouts to you guys tuning in watching the stream. We hope you are enjoying the commentary. My name is Menzo. Follow me at Menzo Combat. And right here joining me on commentary while Jackal plays his match versus Sleep. We got the guy who took me out of the tournament, you jerk. I love you, man, but you, you are. Don't you dare pop off on me, sir. <laughs> just just commentate I, the match. I don't, I don't care what you have to say. I don't pop off. I'm a gentleman. You know behind closed doors and inside your dark soul. You are popping off. Yo, do we do we have like a way of looking at the chat? No chance, sir. We have to get a phone. This is why I was telling you. This is, it would have been convenient if there was a tablet we could just use. Yo, can I rock my hair like this? <laughs> yes. Why not? Yes. Why not, sir? Yes. All right. Oh my God, this is such, this is gonna be such a good match. All right, Jackal, a very up and coming Gargus versus Sleep, the Chammy and the Vivo. Hold on, I'm gonna get the chat. Let's look at the, the chat. I haven't seen the chat in a long time. My phone is right over there. It was a good run to not look at the chat. Now let's see the, what kind of comments. Blow it up in the chat, guys. Do you like this? Do you like my commentary? First time in the scenes. Oh, don't don't ask that, dude. Oh, <laughs> don't ask that. You know what? I'm gonna jinx it, but it's fine. <laughs> Put the volume down, though. I don't want to hear myself. Nah, yeah. I sound terrible. Nah, I'm kidding. I love that voice. Oh, I'm looking over there and from on the top rope. We got a Ken mirror. Mm, like I said, you'll run into a mirror in pools, but you won't run into one in top eight. All right, guys. It's worth it. Give me, give me a one if you like Menzo's uh, commentary, and give me a two if you hate it. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> I. Uh, let me yes. see. Here we go. You ready? Turn on the brain as well. Liger, Liger wants to know when's Johnny Donuts. I don't know. We'll meet him in rank, though, you know? Getting Johnny those rank donuts. points. Yeah. We were joking because, like, so I don't have that many uh, World Cup points. There was no World Cup points for Evo. I'm just finally starting to come and travel because of my sponsor, but there's people online right now grinding right now, this very moment, who are going to make 64 points. Isn't that the sweetest yeah. thing I ever heard? I think the king is uh, Ida Master. Ida Master is always at the very top, and then number two is always Ida like, Master needs to come out. You know, he needs to show up to the World Cup. I mean, he just proved that he, for 14, think about it, 14 to 16 pro stars online. Oh, shit, dude. You <laughs> oh, my God. What is wrong with people cursing? This is a professional stream. Yo, you got, here, here. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to. I see a lot of twos. Two, one, two, two, two. I'm convinced. One. You guys are trolls. You got a four, a three. Uh, three. I think I, I think see I a negative two in there. You see a Man, negative, negative two? two on frames. Well, <laughs> at least it's plus. At least it's plus on block. Uh, so we yes. got Sleep rocking the name F3 Ninja CW. Yes. Rest in peace, my good man. Oh, oh interesting. He's going with Arbiter. Arbiter versus Gargus. Now, so Sleep has a lot of knowledge with Gargus and also the champion with Barbara. Yes. Right now, it's working out for him. It's definitely Vortex City. Set play. Yeah. This is chaos. Oh, these vortexes! Let us shoot them down. I sleep. You crazy, crazy man. Oh wait, no, they're right. Now they're back. They were. It was like this way. You know, Ninja CW. I thought it was a jackal. No. Ninja. Yeah, they got the. They got no, 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 no. He's representing the name of, his, of the passing of his friend. Ah. I respect. I didn't it. know that. Oh wow. I respect. That's it. really cool. Oh, goes for the crap. Jackal just goes for it. Yeah. We got yeah, Gordo and La Flaca right now. We got on. World Stars. Here we go. He chucks his three on one. Let's go. Oh, chucks Flaco in the building. What is going on? Oh, man. Wall splat. Goes for the grab. Oh, picks up a flag. Gordo just continues a combo. Yeah, so this is like what I expect to see. I expect to see Arbiter win the matchup until these little guys come out. <laughs> Gordo and La Flaca. What can I tell you? 
Oh man. Oh, it continues the combo. Jackal is just putting in a lot of work, giving sleep some trouble. Yeah, man, oh so there, there's God. no real way to commentate this. You know, when minions are out. The minions are out. Yeah, they <laughs> really can't help. I mean, like, he's the minions are helping him combo. I can't commentate four players, you know? I could, I mean, we could say this is Smash. We need a Smash player to commentate this match. <laughs> There's a doubles. Oh, he takes out Flocka. Boost. All right, Pops Instinct. Oh, Flocka was just going in for the shanks. Yeah. He's in the back, you know? Ole. Hitting that collarbone. Oh, collarbone. Oh collarbone. God, those minions. Those children. Okay, well, we see the switch. I think yes. I think so. I think so too. Sleep, Sleep likes the switch. Are we going to see Conra or are we going to see a Gargos mirror or is he going to hit re rematch? Mm. Is he going to rock? I thought he was going to go. He already did it. rock. Look, he already hit rematch. Mm. He's going to rock it. All right, here we go. We got some bullets. All right, we got sponsors going on in the middle of the chat. That's unsafe. I'm pretty sure he could have punished that. Okay. Take it off, Armando. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Yo, I love the way uh, Arbiter can uh, link normals. I think that's really cool. I wish like more characters had stuff like that. Well, I think it's just Season 3 only. You think about it, Season 3 is just all about juggles and flipouts. Well, I mean, Jago can link normals. An instinct for sure. No, I mean the season as itself, not just the Season 3 roster. Right, 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 right. All right, we got a throw. It didn't recap, though. Didn't That's re unfortunate. All right. The so this is like it was last game, actually. Like, this is what nice. happened last game. But as soon as he got the minions out, it was a different story. Yes, the minions here we go. Are, are clutching it. They clutch different. So all he needs is that first combo. And then it's minion oh, time. Here we go. Man. You ready? Tosses him. Party time. Uh, he, yeah, he always gets the big one first, you know, because he eats a lot. He's got he's got like three lives. <laughs> oh, it's hard to get through the meat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. So next combo, you can expect to see little buddy. Little buddy. We all got nicknames for these minions, these darn kids. Unless little Gordo dies, then little Gordo's gonna come back out first. Gordo does not coming back. Yeah, this is how Sleep wants to play the oh, matchup. He good. wants to, he wants the to. He wants to make sure those oh, memes are never out. Oh, the decal, so he yeah. dropped the combo because of the. Mm -hmm. That's a beauty. <laughs> All right, air to air works out, which is really good for for an arbiter player. Arbiter doesn't have the greatest anti air, so air to airs are kind of his thing. Now, we're, oh, oh, okay. The nate just blew up in the nigga time. Oh my god, he just comboed it. Uh, he, he, it almost, he passed the chin, he passed the opportunity. He missed it. He could have gone for the combo when he got that stagger off that sticky grenade. Alright, this is gonna be really hard. I mean he's gonna get a minion out of this, but And there, there it is. Go. Yeah. We've got Gordo back in the minch. If he can get another combo and another minion, he's got a chance. Uh, Arbiter's also oh. out of bullets. Out of bullets, but two names is still intact. And he's got instinct. Oh, the overhead. Beautiful. The overhead sword. Now wow. it's 1 1. Jackal is. Oh, we got disrespect right now. Oh, I like the fact he didn't switch, man. I, I really respect that. He believed that he, believed. he could do better. Absolutely. These two, now we got Jackal getting coached by his, uh, his teammate, aka Devil May Care. If you can believe as hard as Tristan believes, oh, there's yes. no way to lose. Mm, it nope. can't happen. Nope. Every yeah. DP will hit. Shout Every out. command got crap will hit. Shout out to the man, the myth, the legend. All right, we got uh, Ki footsies, Gargos. Oh, oh gets there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the move, footsies. All right, so he's got the knockdown. It's Vortex City boys. Let's go. Oh, counter hits, but doesn't combo. All right, he gets the gunshot. gunshot. So yeah, up close he can do the jump gun, oh, and it's always he had pretty guaranteed. You know? No, I'm curious to know if he was like, you know, if he had stone skin and shadow counter at that right time. Can he? Is it still considered shadow counter if the nade blows up on him? Will it confirm or will it not? Confirm? If a if a nade hits before shadow counter, connects, say he has stone skin, and then the nade hits, he shadow counters the nade. Will it still? Will it shadow counter or will it just like stack? Or will it just take his? Or will no, it just the, hit his armor? Yeah, the shadow counter will will start up. Oh, there we go. See, that, that would have been very good. But you know, with this out, with this 
color with this gold skin and the, and the uh, silver skin. You can't really tell you have stone skin. Yeah. You but can't really tell. Actually, that is really interesting. Is that like a high level meta? Mm, I think so. I believe. <laughs> I mean, it is KI. We got a lot of meta. Oh, we got the jab anti airs. What is this? Street Fighter 5? Mm, I believe so. Street Fighter 5, Season 3 edition. We got Street Fighter 5? Street Fighter 5. <laughs> Alright, he's got the lockout. Mm -hmm. And two is Damage City, boys. What's the tech? The tech is Vortex. Mm. What, do you, what do you mean? What else What's is there the to do? Tech? There goes little buddy. <laughs> Stone skin. See, how can you tell? I know, that is messed How up. can you tell? It's not a big deal, though, you know? Because you know he's in there, you know? There's the but whole the animation is... of him starting up and getting the stun skin. And then he yeah. blows up, and you know it's gone. Yeah. His inst but the thing is, his wings are so big and a close range. If he were to just like jump, not maybe like the slightest jump while on stone skin, you can't really see it. See? I find it harder to tell if uh, Cinder's fired up. What? I have oh, a hard time doing that. <sighs> okay, only a true master. He's got to believe. Only oh. a true master. He doesn't have any minions, Ooh, so it's kind of difficult to even come back. Now that was interesting because that was a jump in medium kick, mm -hmm. which means he was plus. So he probably timed the button too late, and so he traded light versus light. It happens to the best of us, you know that? Yeah. It definitely does. I now mean, we're up a lot two. of the, a lot of these players are not used to playing offline. So you see a yes, lot of dropping you see, combos, you see time stuff. You see stuff not work. The that majority of these online. people play online and on big screen TVs. Monitors matter matter people. Oh yeah. But preferences is key. That's and, that's really bad actually, dude. If you play online and on a big screen and then you come to offline tournament, you're gonna get bopped. You're gonna go 0 and 2 all day. Free. And especially not knowing the matchup. <laughs> I'm glad you came for the community, buddy. Again, Vortex City. And I want you guys to notice that there has not been two minions on screen since that first game. That seems to have made all of the difference. Uh-oh. Look at Shadow Counter. Like, at that point, if he Shadow Counter, and will he still hit? Uh, yeah, yeah, I and, believe and so. It, the sh and he can but confirm the, Shadow Counter. Here's, here's, here's the tricky part. The Shadow Counter will come out, but it'll be slower. Oh. So the real question is, will it be fast enough to hit? That's that's something we got to lab. Somebody lab it and tell us. <laughs> but we'll figure it out ourselves. We got time. We got the all time. But speaking of time, Ninja, F sleep, F3 sleep is not giving him the time of his day to even continue the combo. Oh, it tries to go for the Shadow Counter. It goes for the command read. grab. That's very good read. Brings out Gorla. What do you call him? Gorda? Gorda. Gorda. It's a female? No, I'm just saying Gorda. <laughs> I have a coworker that I used to work with because he's he was a big he was a, a fat jerk. So we, his name was his nickname was actually Gorda. Gorda. <laughs> so that's a. And we got Flaco. Okay, here we go. World Star. World now Star. this I expect to see this all turning in Jackal's favor. He's got to shoot those minis. He's got to get those headshots clean. Actually, that's really good. I would spend all the bullets to get rid of those minions. I mean, it makes all the difference in this matchup. Ooh, oh, no! That's the sleep special. He loves counter-breaking heavies. Mm -hmm. The sleep special, yo. Now the vortex. Yep. This is looking like it's going to be over. Oh, man. Oh, the man. He's still... No! Oh, and it's over. 3-1. He got a game. But those the first game was... Convincing. We saw some convincing, but those minions were only out. Yeah. Still in? What the? How? So, oh, wonder, how do you lose the shy does, boy? I wonder in the first game if Sleep thought about jumping back and shooting all the minions down, or did he save the bullets? Maybe that was the adjustment that he made. Oh, man. No disrespect to shy does, by the way. It's just. Jokingly wise, you know, he is considered the best Glacius. Gotta watch out for that guy. Shy does? Oh, yeah. Wake up, puddle. Let's do it. Shades? <laughs> Where's the shy does? Shy does. Shades, huh? I guess I'll, 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 I could rock with shades. Shy does. Shades. The, the eye is silent in shades. Reminds me of that whack show that just came out on Netflix. <sighs> what are we talking about? What show? Luke Cage, man. You think it's whack? Yeah, the first uh, up to six, episode six, I really liked it. And then uh, when a, uh, let's not spoil when it Rattlesnake or whatever mm. came the the new guy came in, came in. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't have good villains yet. Let we'll wait for it. Iron Fist is, Iron Fist is coming out, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh man! I just they hope he rocks the up. mask. I hope he's not just like bearded out and with the uh, hat well, mask it's, on. Well, it's probably gonna be like Daredevil. You remember in season one, he didn't rock the suit until the very end. Uh huh. Oh, so it could be like that. You know yeah. what? It'll build up. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of hype. Netflix, shout out to Netflix. Everybody right now, 
as Netflix and Chun-Li stop and come watch the tournament. So we got Shydez so, versus so, Jackal. If for real, are you being serious? This is, in your opinion, the best Glacius? No, I was just... Uh, I, he's, a, he's a solid Glacius. I was just messing with you. Do you, you know how people him? say Wrath Glacius is best Glacius? <laughs> you never heard Glacius? of that? You never heard of him? Oh, you oh I've heard of him. I played him in ranked, but <laughs> it's just it's just the, my it's, opinion is not it's just that water he's horses. It's just water horses that just trolls everybody and just says that. I got the idea of Chida being the best Glacius through LCD. So shout out to LCD for getting that stuck in my head. <laughs> I think the best Glacius is water horses. Water horses? Yes. Hmm. And if he still played though, I think uh, Rims would be the best uh, Glacius. I also think that if Rick. Played Ki seriously. Uh, no. Rock steady for you guys who don't know who he is. He runs Combo Breaker. I the think man. he would be probably the best places too. Mm -hmm. I have yet. I have beat him both Water Horses and well, Water Horses. He beat me in absolute battle, but I got my run back online. But that's just like you know some small tournament. He joined last minute. And Rock steady. I actually beat him at World Cup to fight Flash, giving Flash the opportunity to get to the top 32. So it kind of it sucks, but you know what? We learn from our mistakes. And nope. now in this matchup, I personally think Glacius can handle. Can handle. But those minions, like anybody else, gets in the way and just throws you off. Just completely takes away the momentum. So what do you mean he can handle you? What are you saying? This is a 5-5? Five five? I, no, I say he can manage. I'm not saying it's like 5-5. Five five. I'm saying that Glacius can manage. But with the minions in the way, it kind of just changes up the tempo. So I saw Rocksteady playing uh, Jackal. Oh, uh, wow. And casuals in this matchup, and actually Rocksteady was either it was either even like they were going even, or Rocksteady was winning. To be honest, it was back to back then. Yeah. So it definitely could be even. Now those minions, you got to hit them once. Oh god. In fact, Rocksteady picked Rom first in casuals against Jackal. Rocksteady got a ramp. Nice. Yeah, and uh, he didn't win the set, but he was getting games with oh. Rom against Gargos, which is ridiculous. I'm telling you, dude. Rock said he's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Anyways, we're playing air footsies right now. Okay. Ah. All right. Good he punish. opts to get the meter because he's got... He, he wants tried to, to juggle. I saw the intention. That was a medium puddle punch. He wanted to juggle. Right. Goes for the wall splat. Doesn't reach. Oh, but gets him with a, with a shatter. All right. That was a nice break. All right. He's going for that... Uh, that reversal so oh. he can cancel on the instinct, but... He could have hit him with a second. Oh, locks out. And goes for the game. And Jackal takes it. Good God. All right. Are we going to see Jackal take Yo, this? Or are we gonna I see like this Gargo skin. Look at it. It's beautiful. Can't guarantee. It's a beautiful skin. Look at it. The textures. The horns and the eyes. The <laughs> horns, the eyes, the nose. Everything's perfect about this character. All right. Hard knockdown. He's going to go for the air mix-up. Gets it. Starts oh, to reset. Oh. oh, my God. Reset again. Doesn't work, though. All right, so we're back to air footsies. Oh, Gargos is almost always going to win this air footsie battle. It's really hard to contest Gargos because of his long range moves. All right, oh, so this perfect. is where I think this is where uh, where Glacius shines, dude. In this, the corner. Yeah, this corner reset stuff oh. is ridiculous. Okay, okay. There's no true, real way to get out of this stuff. It's, oh, it's always risks to get out. It definitely is. All right. Oh, Air very footsies. nice. Calls little buddy. He takes a little bit of damage. I don't really like when uh, when Glacius spends meter to do Shadow Shatter. It does almost no damage, and he loses Doesn't. the meter. Yeah. It's better off as... Honestly, Shadow Shatter is better off as an entire yeah. than a combo. Yeah, even then, I just don't like the damage it does. Now, if the Shadow Shatter would have hit the minion and at least took one hit off, I think it was probably worth it. Okay, he gets the throw. Oh, okay. could have jumped. Goes for a normal stand. Yep, calls a minion. But Shaidez is showing that, like, you know, he's got this. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, and the guts gets hit he's the minion. And, as, work right now. and the best part about this, when you're hitting Gargos, the minions stay down. They don't get up anymore. Right. So that definitely changes up a few things, whereas before it was just completely impossible. Now, if Jackal can get another minion on screen, he's got a very good chance. He's got to outzone him. Okay, because he did. He got it. All right, this is going to be tough. Oh, my God. Now, what Gargos can't afford to do right now is play recklessly and trade, counting on the minions to hit, because he doesn't have to hit the, the, the minion to, threw him off, but yeah. it was going to combo. I, I've seen him combo off the minion, so he knows his timings. He knows his timings, but that one time was just a fluke. Now we're going on 1-1. Shida's showing that Glacius can do this. 
the dream continues. Three games away, definitely putting in a lot of effort right now. Jackal, getting some man, getting and finding results, trying trying to find an answer of what he could do. I'm 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 assuming there was technical dude. I'm watching them right now. Okay, we got Devil's coaching him. He's really coaching him. Okay, so we're gonna get back into the match now. Devil saying, well, "Why don't you just DP, dude? Like, what? <laughs> why don't you just command oh, grab come on, and no. then reset over?" Yeah, yeah, there. I got you, bro. I got you. You know, the top eight, top eight, don't baby, right there. Don't be afraid to die. You get a second life. Shad is really thinking, and the jackal. Jackal is just breathing in and out. <laughs> Okay. Now the thing is, right here, it, it's best to keep a hail, hail up in the air. Just like those are Glacius's minions. Think of it that way. You can interpret it in some ways to Got where you can just use that. Guys, I see you wondering what the situation is right now of who's gotten out and what. In winners right now, it's Thompson, Sleep, Nikki, and LCD. Uh, and losers is me, uh, Devil. The winner of this is getting out. And also the winner of, uh, I believe it's going to be Runex versus uh, his his brother. Runex. Oh, he takes Run offense to Runex. It's a, it, to him, it's an offense. Oh, word. <laughs> he, told me, he told me that he does not like to be called Runex. And because of me... Now everybody calls him that. It's like everybody. It's just his name. Put a space between Ron why can't X. Why can't you just be a nice guy like Bass and just say, hey, if you call me Bass, it's cool. If you call me Bass, it's cool. Because he's not like that. He has an ego. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like, you know, like pretentious. You know? Like, like, uh, I, I guess mean, he's just messing around, maybe. But it, he just wants his I, name to be pronounced I'm just, correctly. I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. All oh. right. So we got a little buddy on screen. He jumps in, gets the armor off. Amazing. That is very good. Gets the combo, and we're probably gonna see a second buddy coming up. I smell Gorda. Nobody. Nobody. I think he missed it. Uh, Jackal did talk about a, a bug that sometimes occurs that doesn't allow you to pull a minion out after that ender. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. He gets very angry. It has when to be it a hard knockdown, I assume. Yeah. Mm, I think that's the, like the better. To, better well, no, no, no. It's just like a bug that actually doesn't let you do the input. Oh that's what he God. was saying. We got bugs in our game. Okay, so he he's got enough life and he's got one buddy to make this happen. So Oh it knocks out the water. Yeah. Uh oh. Instinct. Are we gonna see a shot cycle crusher? Cycle crusher. I what like just it. happened? Alright, we got wall splat. He's Oh, uh, he should have uh, gone for the reset. Uh oh, hard knockdown. Bursts. Oh, does it go for the break? Oh it goes oh, for the counter! Mmm. So That's the second time that I see Jackal with a counter breaker. You might want to think about dialing that back a little bit. Shade seems to be playing a very conservative game okay, when it comes okay. to breakers. Jackal is going to try and find a solution to get out of this. Like he's one game away from Chida's getting to eliminating Jackal. He goes for the dive ball. Okay, keeps a halo. This one, I'm flying air to air. Oh, he just went for the command grab into counter breaker. Very nice. Grief. Uh, Runex is about to play. Has played people that I don't really recall their name. <laughs> um, no offense, but he will be probably playing his brother to get out. Now they already played once on stream, but the match didn't count because he wasn't supposed to play his brother yet. The person who put Runex in losers though was LCD. Oh, no jump in from Vardis. Oh, ends it with a level, sweet level 4. Uh, no, this is not uh, Runex's first top 8. Uh, Runex made top 8 at EVO. If you're talking about Shades, then yes, it'll be his first top 8. But not if Jackal has something to say about it. This is very far from over, guys. Oh, the minion just comes in. Oh, he what? the combo. You know, Jackal's been dropping a lot of stuff, and he does understand that it's because he's not very oh, used to the offline timing. Regardless, he does save the situation. He still has the corner, and he's got a good combo. Goes for the puddle. 
And doesn't fit. See, uh, he how can you heavy. tell? He should have done a heavy. Break that armor. He couldn't tell because of the meter and how he looks. Uh, yeah, I was talking about uh, Glacius. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Will this do enough damage? Yes, it will. Mm, very risky to, to go for that last auto double, man. It was. Yeah, he could have still killed without it. And we're going to the last game. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Things are about to get crazy, boys and girls. We got Jackal and Shida. Shida's not... Jackal not holding back. He's just going to go in. Oh, gets stuff, but gets hit by the hail, stopping him from doing anything, any more damage. Miss times the jump, the crouching heavy punch. This is very important. Oh, the corner pressure. Oh, the this back dash, the flow, another back dash. Best when, back dash in the game. People. When Gargos gets early leads, it's very important because Gargos can play lame really well, especially when he gets minions out. So you want to be either even or ahead of Gargos for the most part. He was just off. He, no, he might have pushed another Yeah, this point. is a very tough situation. We got All that Jackal has to do is play safe and play far away, and he's going to do amazing. Mm -hmm. Gargos can keep Glacius out at bay. Definitely shows. Ooh, you saw that? He hit that button on the way out. <laughs> okay, Jackal is oh. actually going in instead. I disagree with this. I think he just stay far away. There is a spot on the screen where oh, very his nice shadows won't record. hit you, and from that range, he could do a lot of portal punches. Regardless, he gets—he finally gets that counter breaker he's been looking for. Gets mad damage, 42. That's really good for uh, for Gargos. Oh, gets him. And he face. locks out versus Glacius. You don't want to lock out versus Glacius when you're ahead. You don't want to take that risk because we all know that Glacius does mad damage on yep, lockout. Yeah, he hits like a grown man. Place is definitely just like a world man in that situation. And hard knocks him down while he's yeah. on armor. Now Chase has a good chance. He wouldn't have had that if he would have just chilled out. Uh oh, see? No matter if it was heavy, it didn't. It wasn't gonna touch him. Either way, if that shadow would have hit, it would, the armor would have stopped. It. All right, we got World Star. This is gonna be extremely tough for Glacius. He because of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah. Now this is probably gonna be danger. I uh -oh. don't see this happening. Uh oh. So he's just gonna have to keep blocking or puddle his way out of it. Okay, very nice. He's gotta end it. He's gotta end it. And he did get rid of one buddy. So oh that's my a good lord. Start. And then once he's getting hit, the minion stays down. Shadow is building up the momentum. Get some of the hair. Get some of the shadow. Gordo gets in the way. Shadow counter. No oh shadow no counter. Shadow counter. What? Oh my god. Oh, oh the Gordo hits him in the way. No. Go. Wow. Oh. You can oh, really tell that so Nerves played a big part in that. Jackal almost lost for not Shadow Counter. I taste disgust, man. Which that is really. definitely a heartbreaker. Oh, Shaidez. Very yeah, great he, play. It was so close, but Gorda had to come in and stop the show. Dang he, it, Gorda. He did have a smile at the end of that. It oh, he, like was, he enjoyed himself. He yeah, he, he showed himself. It's, I guess we could say it's 5-5. Five, five. It was, he played Glachides. He'll still be the best places in my heart, along with other players, notable players. Dayton J says, my butt was pucked. <laughs> I think he means puckered. Puckered. But, but I'm not the expert. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's it. I assume, that was it. That was, looks like Jackal will be in Loser's Top 8. Yep. Jackal's going to be in Loser's Top 8. And... That is, that is the show. So let's recap on who made top eight. Winner side, we got Thompson, Sleep, Nikki, Nikki, and LCD. And LCD, yes. And in losers, we got Jackal. Sorry for switching it. Jackal. Yep. You, Gnarly Feats. Yo boy. Yo boy. <laughs> who else am I missing? Devil. Devil. Devil who beat Gutter to to get out into losers. That is still the biggest upset of the day. <sighs> By far. I thought, I think the biggest, uh, I've seen, there was a lot of upsets going on on Gutter's side. That perfect, dude. Yeah, Nikki did you perfect guys, Gutter the last that, game. It was 2-2, two to two and then Nikki got a perfect on Gutter. I've never seen a perfect in tournament, too. Mm. And it had to happen to, to gutter, gutter, unfortunately, in his hometown. What's that now? Oh, it's over. Jackal got top 8. BXS yeah. plays top 8. My son from the now, man himself. Now, I, I do want to confirm if Runex made it out in Losers, because they didn't play on stream. 
Okay. All so right. So we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Thank you, guys. They're saying wrap it up. What does wrap it up mean? I think it's so over. So we say goodbye. They went offline. Oh, oh. All right. I guess we're done. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> guys that will be it for scr day one with marvel versus capcom three teams singles and killer instinct all the way to top eight we will be back tomorrow with i believe mkx actually let me check real quick give me one sec guys um okay where is it somewhere here So yeah, ta next, tomorrow is going to be Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat, Guilty Gear, Super Smash Brothers, and Killer Instinct Top 8. So, you know, tune into that, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. This is Kevin Ha, signing off of Level Up Live 2. Peace out, guys. <laughs>